Hello, my American friend. Hi there, mister. How are you? Is Europe still drowning in a big steaming pile of doo-doo? Oh god, yes. You would not believe it. Every day they dream up new shit-brained ways of pissing in my cornflakes. Oh, I truly would. You see we have the Ben Bernanke. Oh, I have heard of the Ben Bernanke. And of what the Fed is doing. You poor bastards. Hell yeah. The Ben Bernanke is leading us like lambs to a kebab factory. We are no luckier. We have the Cameron and the Osborne. They are a special brand of tossers. So why is it so bad in the UK then? Well, you know you had the big bank bailouts. Yes, we had the big bank bailouts. Well, we had the big bank bailouts too. The Gordon Brown spunked all our cash up a big banking dirt pipe and now we are broke. Did the Bank of England create a fiscal stimulus? Do you mean did it print a ton of money? Yes, fiscal stimulus is printing a ton of money. Yes, they did. But fiscal stimulus sounds like bankers stuffing objects up their bottoms. In a way it is. When you stuff the economy up your ass, like anything that goes up your ass it will turn to shit. But the printing a ton of money was supposed to help the banks to stimulate the economy. But did the banks start issuing mortgages again? No. Did they start lending money again? No. Did they help out small businesses? No in fact they did nothing for small businesses. Did they do anything? Yes. They awarded themselves telephone number bonuses. Oh my. This sounds familiar. Has anything helped your economy? Well we had a royal wedding. Prince inbred married Princess Seabiscuit. There were lots of flags and cups bought that were made in China by small children. Hooray for capitalism. The thing is the Gordon Brown properly staffed us. Now we have the Cameron and the Osborne. They could not even run a bath. Let alone a country. Why so? Well for a start no one voted for this government and they are selling stuff like they are running a giant car boot sale. Is it making a difference? Not really. It's not touching the debt, so they are blaming the public sector. What has the public sector got to do with a banking sector created crisis? The Osborne says that the public sector have gold-plated pensions so he is going to get rid of one half million of them. Will that make a difference? Not really. The average public sector wage is 18,000 pounds. How can you gold-plate a shit wage? In any case the civil servants paid into this and it is ring-fenced. Just like the private sector pensions. Where is it ring-fenced? In the banks, they are playing roulette with it. Oh sweet Jesus. The Cameron does not seem to realize that if you get rid of one half million civil servants you will have to put one half million people on job seekers allowance, housing benefit and council tax. Will this improve the economy? Not really. There will be all these benefits to play and still be a pension pot to service. The civil servants who administer benefits will be laid off. At least you have a welfare state. Yes. For now, but they are trying to dismantle that as well. They truly are a bunch of cons. So if they are downsizing the structures, how does your government react to increased unemployment? Well the Ian Duncan Smith says that people who sign on as scroungers. That seems helpful. Well he is a Nazi knobhead. He actually said our bite mashed fry to the BBC. Ouch. So how many unemployed are there in the UK? It depends on who you ask. Huh? Well if you ask the government it's two and one half million. These are in receipt of contribution based job seekers allowance. But this does not include 16 to 18 year olds. Partners not entitled to sign on. Those on incapacity benefit. Asylum seekers, voluntary schemes, paid work placements or those in receipt of income based job seekers allowance. In some places like Middlesbrough they have 10% unemployment. How much is it really? Fuck knows. No one has the faintest idea. It is probably about 5 million and in places like Middlesbrough it will be really about 30%. Who is the MP for Middlesbrough? I believe he is called the Sir Stuart Bell, but no one knows what he looks like cause he lives in France and does fuck all. So what is happening to get people into work? Nothing. There are no jobs and no money to create jobs. And the Cameron says that the private sector will pick up the work of the public sector. Oh my. 
I have heard this all before. When will they understand? The irony is the private sector is costing the country billions when it creates jobs. I do not understand. How can creating jobs hurt the economy? Look at our key sector employers. M and S, B and Q, Next, Costa, McDonald's, Walmart, Travelodge and all the high street chains. They are the same as yours in the US. How much are most of the staff in this type of work paid there? They are paid the minimum wage. It is the same here. They have to supplement their rubbish wage with working tax credits. The Osborne hates the working tax credits. You mean because the wages are so low they have to be supplemented with money out of the tax pot? Exactly. He says the private sector creates wealth but it does not it creates profit. Ampersand this profit goes to shareholders so the tax pot is subsidizing key companies by letting them underpay their workers. Why does the author not do anything about this? Because he believes the market will sort this. Jesus Christ. The market only sorts out the value of stocks and bonds. What is wrong with these fuckwits? They have never been poor. Ampersand had to wonder where their next meal is coming from. Or whether they can pay the rent. The thing most of the politicians and bankers all bummed each other in public school and don't care about the people. They must be doing something. They are. It is called the big society. It is a scheme where they want everyone to work for nothing. Are they on drugs? Yes they must be on drugs. It seems to be bollocks. Yes it is a steaming pile of bollocks. The thing is everyone is angry and I don't think they realize that if they do not come up with something to sort this out pretty damn soon. The shit is really going to hit the fan. The only comfort is that it is all going to go to shit. Ampersand the banks are screwed as well. The euro. The dollar standard. The IMF. When this all implodes nothing will be of value and they will all be in the soup queues with the rest of us. Even the Goldman Sachs is fucked. They are so shit at economics they haven't even sussed it. And they are all cunts. Yes they are all cunts. And mark my words. It is coming. It's fucking coming.